First, it's Gina Carano, who is the face of female mixed martial arts. In short, she's a badass. And she took her skills out of the ring, put them on the silver screen opposite Ewan McGregor and Michael Douglas in the Steven Soderbergh film, Haywire. Here's my very cautious time with Gina Carano. How did you get into fighting? I mean, it sort of begs the question, what was your like, childhood like that you would gravitate towards this sort of profession? I've always been like naturally aggressive. Like, my older sister took me to a bunch of punk shows at the Huntridge in Las Vegas, and, like, the only reason why I would get in the mosh pit was to, like, bang people you off You actually of enjoyed that? Yeah. Oh. By the way, I know you don't feel well. Whatever you have, you can't see it at all. You look like you walked off the cover of a magazine. Yeah, until, like, snot starts running no, down. No, 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 it's not gonna happen. I'll edit it out if it does. Okay. It's great to see you, it's great to meet you. I enjoyed your film, I enjoy your strength, your abilities to beat the crap out of people. When people ask you, Gina, what you do for a living, what do you say? I say I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, because instantly people get like these weird ideas in their head when they hear fighter and you think they instantly think that you're violent. How long have you been fighting? About nine years. What's your record as a fighter? 12 one and one in Muay Thai. You know Muay Thai? To me, it's like the hardest, most straightforward form of stand up fighting. Right. Incorporating shins, knees, elbows, punching. To be in a mixed <laughs> MMA, you know, when this whole thing started, I think it was like the idea of it was let's have the best karate guy fight the best boxer, and then that has evolved now to this incredible sport. The UFC is obviously huge. Yeah. But Muay Thai is at the center of the thing that you need to study, right? Yeah, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, boxing and wrestling for me is uh, what has worked. But I mean, people do Judo, people do like any type of mixed martial arts that you that we have in the world, they take into the cage. When you're in the ring, when does the fight start for you? Do you have to get hit first? For yeah, to... I'm one of those people who have to get hit, and I'm like, oh. And what happens? It's like, oh, here Then we go. it's like, oh, oh, here we go, okay. Because my adrenaline just, like, it controls my body, and it's such a bad thing, because, like, in interviews and fights and, like, extreme situations, like, I lose control. What do you mean bit. in interviews you lose control? Well, I get, like, I you're mean... making me nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about some of your fights. What do you want to know? How did you lose? Uh, <laughs> that's an awful question. No, Next the 12 question. one no. and one. I mean, oh, well, I'm 12 one and one in Muay Thai and seven and one in uh, the cage. I only ask you about the loss for reasons. No, because you're I, it's No, fine. because I think didn't you meet Soderbergh in and around a, kind of a bad time for you professionally yeah. uh, in the fight world? Well, I just lost that fight, and my agent called me and he was like, Gina, you got to take this meeting. And I'd been uh, punched over my eyebrow, and so all the blood was like running down into my eye, like Cyclops, and I had this like black eye, and I was like, I don't think you want me meeting like any. Hollywood director right now, and he was like, no, you really need to take this meeting. So I ended up taking it, and four hours later, Steven was like, you want to do a action film with me? And I said yes. He said to come pick you up. You're really starting to cut into my vacation time, so can we go, please? You're really not getting in the car, are you? I don't think so. When you talk to Mr. Soderbergh about being in this film and these action sequences, take me through some of those conversations about, I mean, how did that relationship work? He said that he wanted the fight scenes to be very realistic. And he talked to the stunt coordinators who I was working with. Right. And we kind of created these fight scenes. And we cut. So did multiple takes, was that drive you crazy? No, I like that. If I could have multiple takes in a fight, that would be insane. Like, that would be ridiculous. I'd love that. Were the fight sequences almost sort of boring for you because they're so technical? Not at all. Are you hitting each other? Yeah, sometimes. What did you tell Michael? Did you give him a green light? I... Yeah. No, he gave me the green light. When I kicked him through that door, like, he put a body pad on, of course. <laughs> Fighting with you and Channing and Fastbender, and it's almost like they enjoyed being physical just as much as I did. They like beating up on girls. Is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that easily, you know, broken. Like I'm a girl that you can actually, like, you know, kind of. Right. Because you had to tell them that, though. I mean, it's probably against every moral fiber in a guy's being to want to, you know, get to get physical. Yeah, I don't think. And you're like, hey, listen, I can take it. Yeah, there was like definitely points where I had to look at the stunt guys and then look at them and be like, it's okay, like. I like it, it's right. fine. Was there like an MMA kind of underground? What was that like on your way up to becoming a professional fighter? Well, my first fight, I fought uh, 
in a small gym in San Francisco. The ring was over in the corner on the ground. It was seriously like a fight club type thing. If any like normal human being would walk into that kind of scenario, they'd be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I walked up to a gym once and I saw this like dude weighing in on the scale and it was like a six foot something dude and I was like, oh, sh like whoever has to fight that person's in trouble. And then she turned around and I was like, that was who you mm. had to fight. I was like, oh no, why do I have to fight this girl? And then uh, we started fighting and I punched her twice and hit her twice and the girl didn't say anything. She just got out of the ring, walked straight out of the gym, didn't even, like her corner was looking at like, what the hell just happened? She just walked out? Yeah, she just walked out of the gym and left and it's the last time I've ever seen that girl on the circuit, yeah. Where are you with the film thing? Are you, are you looking for the roles? you want to play like a, a highly feminine role? I'd love to. I have these two different sides to me. Right. You know, one's very female and one's very aggressive. Right. So, I mean, I can explore anything in between that. <laughs> That's great. I hope it's so better. Oh, I know. I don't want to oh, shake yeah. your hand. Like, I'm so... Thanks, Gina. Thanks to Gina, she's super sweet. Uh, that movie, by the way, is worth the price of admission just to watch the fight sequences.